Hey Libra, it's good to see you. My name is Chandler. This is your March 2019 intuitive energy reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome back. I hope you enjoy. If you resonate with my readings, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you are a returning uh, subscriber, you know that you haven't seen me since January. I took a month off. Uh, the eclipse energies got me this year guys. They got me good since last time I saw you so much has happened I feel like an entirely different person to be completely honest um, Okay, so firstly, okay eclipse season I got engaged right literally the day in the middle of the two eclipses <laughs> I got engaged um, which I'm so happy about and excited uh, for everything to come it is definitely opening up new doors and I couldn't be I couldn't I just I can't explain how happy I am I feel safe I feel supported um, and excited so that's different there is um, so much happening in this eclipse season. Not all of it has been good. Uh, there has been some surprising news, even devastating news, life-changing news, and change, right? You know, there are times that we have to really ground ourselves. And I think in February, in February, we really had to, we had to take that seriously. Um, amidst all the change, our energy really kind of got disturbed and, and uplifted, uprooted to an extent that made it difficult to really swallow what we were trying to bite, you know? So with our engagement, there were a few other changes, like I got bangs, I got glasses, um, and then we got a transfer to move to the state which I'm from, Colorado, for those of you who are returning subscribers, you know that I was in California. Now, I realize that I'm kind of rambling, right? I'm going over all of these things that we were feeling, you know, downloads on the daily. Our practice has been like knocking at our door, wanting to be heard, wanting to be validated, wanting to be useful to us, right? Wanting us to practice more of what we preach, of what we think, of what we pray, of what we create and believe. Now, with this move, my energy was uprooted. So, no matter how enlightened or spiritual or in touch or aligned you are, Libra, your energy probably got uprooted or disturbed with the changes or surprises or the news. Um... And if, you know, if you've been going through major shifts, you're rerouting your energy in a different way than ever before, right? This is something that you may be done in the past, especially if you've already gone through an awakening. But now it's, it's different, isn't it? You may feel even like a different person. Right? You may feel that drastically different um, than even in January. Um... With that being said, I think that there's even more change coming. I think that it's only actually just begun. Um, and this is for the long term, right? And this is one of the luckiest years in 12. So don't forget that whatever changes are happening and however uprooted you feel, there is a reason behind it that is going to benefit you in the long run. Okay, so with that, I have Sweat Lodge. <laughs> All right, these are beautiful cards. This card is number 54. So this tells me here that there's a cycle completion. You're releasing. You're actually going into the boiling pot so that you can transform uh, the sticky energy that was otherwise quite literally stuck to your energy field. You know, you're braving the heat. You're going in where it's uncomfortable because you know the benefits after are really what you're after. They are really what you want. You don't want 
to hold it in anymore. And I'm getting a lot of you because we are in an air season or we were in an air season and now we're headed into a water season are going to be coming more in touch with your emotions. And you realize your emotions have been locked up. They have been suppressed. They have been stuck. And uh, what we do in the physical to release emotions could be sweating, right? It could be crying. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing drooling even. So anything that's having to do with the moisture of our skin, of our of our of our hair of our uh, um, of 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 our body the the actual water content of us is going to need to expand it's going to need to increase um, but be very mindful Libra that you're also expelling uh, water expelling and releasing energy as, in the form of emotions or water. Um, to help get things going, to actually help you get into the flow. Where we were in Aquarius season with all of the air stuff going on was feeling uprooted and that needed to go down, that needed to go ground. And you can tell where I'm going with all of this. Libra, this is what you came to do. Whenever there's a season that has an abundance of something, firstly, you need to focus on what that element of the season is uh, to increase your awareness and connection with that element. But then also every element has an opposing force that may contradict the progress that you're actually trying to make. And so what do you do then? You counteract it by the opposing element to create balance, Libra. So the sweat lodge, go into it, release it. Don't, don't fear the discomfort of what you're trying to do. Right, you need to release this on in some way, shape, or form. All right, so let's pull a goddess for you. Goddess card. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. And for the guys out there, I, I, I probably should get a god's uh, deck. But this goddess deck is actually new. It's by Colette Baron Reed. And I've been working with it, and I just think... Uh, it's really helpful, you know, even though it carries a very feminine energy, it could be very useful to the guys that are watching, um, or however you identify, you know, this is the divine feminine coming through, and what does, what does, what energy does Pisces typically carry through, right, when we're talking about Pisces season, we're talking about feminine energy, so let's see if there's any, any, any advice here for Libra in the month of March? I'm hearing water very strongly. Now that can just be, be because we are headed into Pisces season. Um, but for those of you who may be working with a, the goddess of water or some kind of water element, it's going to be very influential. So we have Kali, liberation, right? And this is a 25. This is a bit of a vortex opening, right? And I'm not, I'm not only hearing liberation, but revelation, okay? So some of you are, are literally having revelations of mind this month. Now I say mind because your heart space is really the, the space that you're in and it, you're helping a you're moving through with an open heart, I'm sensing, and then what is actually occurring to you is what's important. Something occurs to you, you have liberation, you have revelation of mind. And that's really what creates the change, isn't it? Your, your mind is very strong, and if not the strongest of the zodiac. You can reach heights that others find very difficult. So when you have these mental breakthroughs, when you have these liberations of mind, these revelations of mind, there is so much change that is created uh, instantly almost because at that moment you realize you can't go back to how things were. Something is distinctly different in you this month. So do your research. Call on Kali. She will help you. All right. 
This is good. This is good, Libra. I think that, you know, where we've been and the, the hard year we had in 2018 is really paying off because there's so much groundwork that had to be done for you to be in this place. And, you know, when I say sweat lodge and releasing, we're obviously talking about the past. We're talking about something that has come full term. It's come full cycle, full circle. Okay, so we have courage and patience. Now, some of you could be finding it hard to be patient, um, you know, through these changes, either wanting something to happen now or, you know, patiently waiting while something transpires around you. There is, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is something that you're working toward and with Sweat Lodge and with patience still kind of having this conversation with me. They're telling me here, there's something you're working toward. You have to go through the discomfort just as much as a, a, a female or a woman energy will uh, go through the discomfort of labor. They don't, they don't call it, um, you know, uh, uh, it, it, <laughs> I'm getting this analogy like it's called labor for a reason, right? It's you have to put in your time and effort to birth something new for yourself. The sweat lodge is the same, you know, much less painful. But you, you go into it knowing there's going to be an element of discomfort. Um, and maybe it's fairly easy to begin with. And then the, then the real work comes in those final few minutes. All right. So, you know, with courage and patience, I see that firstly, you need to press your own buttons in a way, right? Press your buttons of frustration, of impatience, of... Uh, inconsistency or self-sabotage and and push those buttons that make you do it anyways you know get into that uncomfortable zone because your zone right now is the comfort zone uh, and it's it's very easy to be comfortable you're if you feel safe you feel secure you feel supported um, and you're excited about the future right but but with this kind of energy we can't lose our focus like everything is just going to be okay from now on, there will be challenges. There will be days that you need to push yourself through and break through this foundation that you've laid and start doing the stuff that you you told yourself you once would. Um, this may be the best time that you have this whole year to start your passions, to do something spontaneous, um, accomplish those things that you've said you would for some time now and I'm getting that these these cards are talking to someone who's made promises to themselves that they have yet fulfilled um, this is kind of your second chance this is kind of your second awakening or awakening in in truth to who who you are or what you came here to do um, you've been living in a shell I'm hearing and something has been holding you back Libra you know, whether this is your Libra sun, moon, or rising, or even Jupiter, this is going to come through in this very um, deliberate attempt to create more happiness in your life. It has to be deliberate. It has to be um, a focused intention because it's time, firstly, for your spirituality, prayers and meditation, your practice. Okay, that's where your focus should go initially to really find what it is that you want to take action on. Okay. Um, you know, let your let your thoughts just float by like clouds on the horizon. Take yourself very um, lightheartedly, right? And and just see what comes up. Um, we're headed into the spring equinox as well, which kind of you know has this resonance here with the f more fully encompassing energy of the month. When we're talking about a spring equinox, this is what is you're giving birth to. You know, you are in full alignment with the universe. You've been watching the moons very diligently, uh, and you've been working with the Mother Creator energy. And so, with that, you can expect uh, at at one point or another to have to literally break through the seed that you yourself have embodied, and actually begin that that effort of growth then the real work comes to expand your own horizons uh, you know but it's been in this preparation you know that that we've been kind of cradled uh, for a few months right but now it's it's actually time okay <clears throat> so in the month we have a full moon in Libra 
okay, and this is, this is why I'm getting such a strong resonance here, um, with the sun and Aries at this time, we're, we're going to find that action very, uh, beautiful in its own way and very easy to us to attempt now. So it is the most, most right time for this. Um, opposites attract also, you know, at this time. So be very open-minded. Remember, we, we can't really be judgmental during this time. We have to think open-mindedly and, and be an open book for others. Um, there's going to be a deepening of relationships too. So, uh, for those of you who have been patiently waiting for this new beginning, um, there's a new understanding. Yeah. So, so whether you're in a relationship now or uh, considering one, there will be things to come up that really make it clear, you know, so don't worry too much about uh, whether it's going well or what they're thinking or, you know, uh, that kind of stuff. It, it, there will be revelations of mind. Remember, something will come to you. There will be more news and more excitement to come. Um, so let it happen naturally. This is your blossoming. You don't have to try to break out of the seed um, that you've been feeling in the past months. You, it happens naturally. Just as the mother doesn't have to tell the baby to grow arms now, uh, to to um, you know uh, 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 grow and 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 nourish itself. It does that naturally, right? There, there's a certain um, energy of the body there's a certain energy of the soul and and the connection that is is inherently there that you don't actually need to control it it happens naturally okay so remember that libra so we again have um this this patience card being coupled with the mother so some of you could actually be finding you're pregnant of course i mean that's a given, but um, you could also be deepening relationships by, by starting a family. Okay, so we have three of water. Beautiful water energy to come uh, in Pisces. Now, what I think here uh, is maybe this, this lunar energy that we have in, in the new moon in, in Pisces. This is what makes it, you know, so ripe. You're, you're, it's, it's ripe for the picking, you know, it's right in front of your face. You just find it very easy to move forward uh, this month. You know, there's, there's battle wounds and, and, and uh, battle gear on her, you know, armor. And she's just leaving the battle scene. So, um, you know, she's still wearing her, her wounds or her, uh, battle marks, you know, as, as badges of honor. And, uh, she would, she would have it no other way, you know, something, something about, uh, needing to move forward with your battle scars, you know, wearing them very proudly because of where you've been is, is the difference, you know, no longer trying to conceal and being very authentic, Libra, being very authentic. Um, You know, they may, there may be a focus on uh, relationships, you know, <clears throat> but I sense that this is more personal. This is definitely more personal. It's more independent. You know, this may even have to do with opportunities and work, you know, expanding your horizons in that way. Um, you have felt constricted and that's this seedling, you know, that's the seedling feeling pressure from the growth that's happening within you know there 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 is growth within the seed before it actually cracks the seed but there's a certain pressure that needs to accumulate before it can break itself open so i'm getting that analogy um and honestly this is the path of least resistance okay so if you have been uh toiling diligently on leaving a relationship or moving on with a career. Maybe it's in a more, much more independent way. It looks like you're going to be given the option to leave with the least amount of damage uh, to the situation, uh, to feel really seamless in your exit, okay? And that's, that's really good. That's supportive of the kind of change that you're wishing to create. It's giving you an opening uh, to just release this very easily uh, and to really go with the flow in that way. 
You're, you're uh, meditating on the peaceful way out. Okay, so emotions. Emotions is this intellectual energy, right? But with, in, with having a mindfulness of how we feel. Uh, you, it's sharpening your sword, Libra, and you've been getting that a lot. You know, I I watch tarot readers on online too, and I have my favorites. Um, and then I, I also, you know, kind of listen in on their interpretations of cards. And, you know, I see how we can all really filter in these messages in different ways. And it's really up to the person's consciousness to deliver the right messages. Um, and with that being said, I think that's what we are all trying to say in very many ways is that this, uh, sort of intellect Libra is as strong as it has been maybe in years. And this is like, this has been coming for so long. Um, you are so self-aware. It's just, it's really palpable. And if you can gather your words and gather yourself even during mercury retrograde which starts on the fifth um you are overcoming the confusion you're overcoming the illusion uh this is uh neo in the matrix when he wakes up you know uh you're able to manifest something uh, very very well and i think there's a, a very strong vortex open for you for creation and what you're telling the universe here is, I, I understand my feelings. I understand them as being a certain compass for what, for what I want now. Um, I can feel feelings while remaining the observer. That's really cool. And you know, uh, you know, if you're feeling a lot of this change, you know, if there's a lot going on in your life still, Libra, You need, you need privacy, you need self-care, you need to uh, consider your options in silence. You know, this coming month is not necessarily going to be the best month for uh, external advice. People may, may not have the right words for you this month, okay? So know that if you have to withdraw, that's okay. That's okay. You have to be with your own thoughts. Spend some time alone in seclusion if you need. Take some time for self-care. I'm getting very cold. The counselor. Okay. So the counselor shows here this psychological aspect that you have over your emotions this month, Libra. Now, I think that this is a really good sign here that you have transformed something on a psychological basis. And there may have even been an element of schizophrenia in your past because of how rude your awakening was at one point. And this can be seven or eight years in the past. So don't doubt the power of, of spiritual awakening because it does take a long time and it does require a lot of patience. Okay, and this is the kind of message that you've been getting through this entire reading, Libra. Some aspect of you on a very deep and profound level is being understood and transmuted into higher consciousness, into higher levels of being. It doesn't mean you don't have to feel. You can feel everything still. But there's a level of understanding that wasn't there before, and that's making the difference. All right. So Mercury goes direct again in Pisces. Um, your mind is going to be directed on emotions, dreams, intuition, um, emotions. Did I say emotions? Yes. And this, I think, is the understanding that you've been wishing to accomplish for a while. And in the meantime, when Mercury is retrograde, I would just be very mindful and, you know, uh, feel in, feel in, feel in everything that you need to feel, feel in silence, feel within, um, but not necessarily the best time to make any rash decisions. But let things sink in, because once Mercury goes direct in Pisces, you're going to be getting a lot of information that you've been asking for previously, okay? Okay, 
yeah, I think that that's it. Thank you so much, Libra. Uh, if you resonated with this, don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I will see you again. Thank you. Bye.